welcome back to the spider's web and in this video we're going to be continuing with our bugbears um, as you can see I have adjusted um, well added to what it was um, or what I said I was going to do which is I've uh, painted the, waited for the wash to the initial wash to dry and I've gone back and painted the skin uh, with the rat skin flesh and then give it a wash so I'm back now to continue. So we may or may not be using um, some paints in this one. We will find out as we go on. But what we are going to do first of all is go with a dry brush. Now the first dry brush we used was well for the metal. We're doing the dry brush. Uh, the first dry brush we used was Warplock Bronze. We're going to give another blast with that. <clears throat> and it's going to be again another dry brush so we'll get some of that on our brush okay wipe it off and we'll uh, go over once more it's just to emphasize the metallic areas because after the wash it's dulled it down a bit too much And that is something we don't want. We want it. It's metal, so we want it nice and shiny. Um, here we are. It doesn't have to be incredibly in your face shiny, because um, well, the bug burst. So I don't think they're going to take. I don't think they're going to spend hours polishing it. Um, so I'm not going to spend time making it really nice and bright but by the same yardstick there is going to have to be a little bit of, of mist here with the black so I'm going to just paint that with the um, Warplot Bronze then we'll go on to the next one and do the same again I think the painting aspect is going to come along with the um, highlighting of the material around the waist um, because I think that is all the um, thing there's going to be for the line of in the line of painting. Just highlighting those areas. Um, but we are going to be highlighting this metal a little more with a silvery colour. Not an incredibly bright silver, I might add. This will probably be Runefang steel or something along those lines. Iron breaker probably. Um, that's probably the one that's going to be dark enough to give the effect we want. It's usually the base colour for our silver um, highlight or silver or metallic um, parts of a model. So that's the Ujits done. Now let's go on to the um, let's go on to the sashes and things. So we're going to go back for the first one into the fang, which is the one we used in the first place. All right. So we'll go on into that and we'll just go straight down here and down here. touch along here we don't need to do too much there because it's not really in um, any form of light but I 
There we are, and that will do for that. I'm not doing the back of the sash, you may have noticed. I'm doing the front and on with the front. Uh, when I say the back of the sash, I mean this part here because there's not much point in doing that. Uh, next, we have the green one, which so we've just used the fang for the first sash. The next one we used was Caliban green, and this is the one we're using now. Um, so I'll get some of that off the pallet onto the brush and we'll do the same again. As you can imagine with the wash that we've applied um, it's already darkened the um, the area enough to just use the main colour again as a wash, not a wash, a highlight. If you would like to go back and do a further highlight on this, you can do. It's not essential. Um, you can leave it like this, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not, I'm not um, making it out to be any form of fantastic showpiece painting, because the models are, in my opinion, good enough to do that. They're just gaming models, that's it. They're not display pieces. And now we're going into the grey which we used, which was Eshin grey. And we'll just come straight into that and onto the model. And we'll do exactly the same as we've done with the others. You can make them slightly different if you so wish, um, but I, mean, I like doing them differently. But if you don't want to do this like I'm doing, you don't have to. You can always paint them exactly the same and um, keep them this way, or keep them exactly the same. Um, the problem with that I find, and I forgot to do the this part on the green one, so I'll go back into that in a second. <coughs> there we go, and I forgot to do this. When I first painted them. <laughs> Okay, so that's about it. We've given the dry brush on this metal a chance to uh, dry now. So what we're going to do is look for and see if we can find quite easily, which I probably won't be able to, but we'll have a try anyway, um, and get try and get the rune fang steel. Not the Runefang steel, the iron breaker. It's actually out here. I must have used it for something, I can't remember doing so. So this is the one we're going to be using. I must have used it for the bugbears. So we'll get some of that on our dry brush. And we're not going everywhere on this. Very, be very, very selective where it's going. It is just going on certain parts. And I mean quite much dry certain parts. That's one done. And the second one. Mm. 
area. Right, so we're not going overboard with it. And finally, number three. I'm hoping we have enough to just finish off what we need to do. And I think we have. And that basically is the book burrs. Um, these are the book burrs. No, I'm going. Yeah, these are the book burrs. Sorry, what I was referring to when it was the iron break, and I said book burrs. I meant the hobgoblin warriors, which I've now finished. Um, they've all had this base done. As have the um, water cultists. So they're all ready for use. I think there's only one lot of minis after these that I need to paint before I can start the game players. Um, but before I do those, one thing I do want, one thing I would like to do, um, the the heads looking very similar colour. So I'm going to emphasise the head on these minis, and I'm going to add some water in with the black to make it a very very watery mix you could use null oil if you wish but I'm going to add this as a wash on the fur areas just to make them stand out a little more and give it a little bit of different coloration there you go and I'm going to do that on each one because as I said it just makes the face on or the skin uh, stand out that little bit more it's um I mean, you don't usually get monochrome, monotone fur, um, even in a pure black, or what looks like a, a black animal. You will usually see trace of chocolate brown and other colours, um, depending on how the light hits. So, it's not unusual to find different colours in um, in fur so that's what we're going to aim at replicating in this and that hopefully should do us it just make, gives it that little difference anyway, and makes the face stand out so that is it for these bugbears the next job to do with them is to put, apply the sand to the base paint the base up and that's it give them a varnish so that's all we have for this video I hope you've enjoyed it until next time as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.